Hi, Mark Bruno with Printing News and PrintingNews.com here at Graph Expo 2015, day two. And joining us this afternoon is Guy Geck, the CEO of EFI. Mark, good to be with you. Thank you, Guy. Thanks for taking the time out to speak with us. Pleasure. Uh, first question, we wanted to ask you about your two recent acquisitions, uh, Matan and Reggiani. And if you could tell us a little bit about these two organizations and how you believe they're going to fit within the EFI family. Two very exciting acquisitions. We've been looking to expand our inkjet portfolio for quite some time. We had a full uh, pipeline of acquisitions. Those two raised to the top uh, around the end of last year. And then we got really deep into negotiation and due diligence early in the year. We got to conclude them in June and announce it immediately when Q3 starts July 1st. Um, two different um, uh, growth opportunities. One is Reggiani on the textile, number one brand in textile, market leader. Textile was on our radar screen from the day we got into Inja 10 years ago. Very big market, a lot of appreciation for quality and reliability, really where EFI wanted to play. Um, Reggiani was a great opportunity to join forces market leader. Um, they have great applications, great culture of innovation like us. We bring a lot of the knowledge around, uh, EFI bring a lot of the knowledge on the color management, software size, some inkjet knowledge together. I think we build really a great ecosystem for customers. Mm -hmm. Matan was, was a company that we always compete with. They were smaller, a lot smaller than us in the display graphic, which is a growth area for us and many of our customers. Uh, really did a great job on roll to roll with a lot of innovation. We kind of watched them grow over time. And then again, toward the end of last year, we felt like if we join forces, we can do a lot better for customers. We can have a really good product roadmap. And we really need engineers that are passionate about inkjets from around the world. And you know, there's a lot of good engineers in Israel that care about printing. So that was a good match on both sides. Sounds excellent. So what's the time frame, Guy, in terms of working and integrating the, the, the new companies within the, the framework of EFI? Oh, we're already working. We were actually, uh, it was the best planning we ever had for an acquisition, although you can imagine that's very secretive before it's announced. Only very few people know about it. We had a game plan for the first 90 days. The week after we train our, our direct salespeople on Matan and Reggiani, uh, we were ready to go, each geography in different languages. We had marketing materials worked on, uh, and essentially the integration uh, started immediately. The two, the two things to remember is, number one, both companies, Matan and Reggiani, are healthy, selling, they have partners, they have, nothing is broken. So as far as integration, it's all about adding value to this versus taking away value. Mm -hmm. So this is number one. And number two, they both, are, there's a lot of synergy and less overlap with EFI. So ability to go to customers and say, okay, now that we're working together, this is the future. And we worked on this as we prepare into why we want to buy them. We want to tell the customer the same story. So it's been great. You will see um, evolvement of the products for textile, for example, Itma is the group of textile coming in a couple of months, it will be a, a story for me and find Reggiani together. And obviously over time, you will see more and more of why it makes sense for customers. Guy, I want to take a minute to, to plug our magazine, which you were kind enough to do a Q&A for right. uh, our September issue. Uh, you can read about it in, in, in uh, printing news. Um, but you, you know, you'd mentioned that you're on track uh, toward your $1 billion right. sales goal for next year. Um, more recently, you had a record second quarter. Right. Um, talk to us a little bit about the company and, and maybe the areas that are uh, doing really well uh, that stand out for, for EFI right yeah. now? You know, we always believe that if we help our customers grow, we will grow with them. And that's the only thing that we can do to grow. If our customers don't grow, there's no, they're not going to buy more stuff from EFI. So it's always align ourselves with customers and we worked on growth areas. And when we look at the trajectory of what those growth areas uh, could lead to, including acquisition, using money we generated from our profitability over the years, we felt like we should hit the billion dollar, that should be our target by 2016. And we, we decided that back in 2010, when we just recovered from the recession, our revenue was good, 500 million, we said we should double it by 2016. The special thing was, uh, and I like to say in a moment of weakness, we decided to make it a public. Uh, <laughs> most people don't go and give their revenue goals as a public information because something happened in the economy, what happened if you miss it? It's kind of very embarrassing. You, you don't want that to get out. We feel like, you know what, that's our target. We align with our customers. If we do a good job for customers, we should hit it, no matter what the economy would be. And so we said it, and I think it really drove how we engage with the market, with customers, trying to drive growth. And it helped us to be on, and on, on target for this. And as we sit now, we're looking at very high probability we're gonna 
get to this target next year. Of uh, we actually we're pretty certain we're going to hit the target next year. But it's all up to us delivering more and more products to our customers. Are there certain uh, certain segments of the business guy that, that are performing you know heads and tails above the others that stand out, or is it pretty much even keel across the board? I would say all of our segments, all of our products are doing really well. What's changing is the geographies are mixing. You know, we had some tough time in Europe, and then Europe recovered. Now it seems like some areas in China, some segment in China not as strong. You know, you probably hear a lot about that, and some segments are really strong in China. The good news is we are geographically very balanced. Uh, our fiery business had a very consistent uh, two years, very good growth. A lot of customers care about the additional front end. They know that color management and speed and customization and ability to do variable data, it's all depending on what you have in front of the press. So we got a very consistent growth from that for the last two years. Inkjet have done really well over time uh, and productivity software continue to grow because customers need to make their business more productive. So unfortunately again, we have, I can't point to one, it's all working well and the reason is the entire company is focused on what can customers do to grow their business. In terms of the show, Graph Expo here again this year, you, like last year and, and previous years, you've got a lot of must see -em award recognition. Right. Um, so I don't want to talk about all the must see -em products because they're all obviously strong products for you. Um, but are there one, two, or three that perhaps uh, are especially strong that you're particularly proud of? Are you kidding me? I'm going to get killed <laughs> internally. We focus so hard about innovation, and, and you know, I'm glad that for the fifth year in a row, we're so much above the second place as far as how many awards. We got nine. And, uh, and the reason is we care about doing a lot of innovation fast, year after year, bringing new things to the market. And it's not just about acquisition, it's a lot of, but what you do internally uh, with the team. I would say there's a lot of things that are in line with what I just said. Um, there's, you know, we got an award for Flexible Inc. A lot of people don't think about EFI immediately when they talk about as, as an ink company, they think about Fiery, Color Management, or Inkjet. Our ink team is awesome. They built some amazing, best in the industry ink. And with this application, you can do a lot of things that stretch, that win. The color gamut is so much better than alternatives. So I think it's just recognition that EFI is one of the leading ink companies out there. Uh -huh. Interesting. Yes. Well, we look forward to going over to the booth and visiting more with you and seeing some of the products in action. Do you mean you didn't visit yet? I haven't had time, guys. Uh, I've been doing all these interviews. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no Looking forward to hosting you there. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.